Wow. It's bloody hot out there. Uh, it's my week off and there's nothing like a big bit of rest and relaxation and this is nothing like a bit of rest and relaxation. I've started project paint the boat. Come along and see what I'm up to. join me on a Wednesday morning a cooler day but a look at things and I'm looking a bit disheveled because for the first time on my week off I've had a lie-in um, well I say lie-in it's half seven um, right what I've been doing this week is painting my boat if you're anything like me and you have a boat that's anything like mine hours sorry Max you'll realize that it could probably do with a paint job now ours has needed one really since we bought the boat last October so your eyes turn to the internet and you start doing a bit of research and you realize that to get a boat painted in a boat yard or by a professional boat painter is thousands thousands and thousands of pounds not only that but if you're a liverboard, it's a nightmare because they're going to want the boat for days, if not weeks, six weeks sometimes, more than that in other cases. It's just not doable. And even if I had the money, even if I had tens of thousands of pounds sitting in the bank to pay someone six, seven, eight thousand pounds to paint my boat, it doesn't sit right with me that um, as regular viewers to my channel will realise I'm a great believer of cheap doesn't always mean shoddy so I decided to have a crack at it myself um, to be fair I didn't have a bad base to start on because the paintwork although the Sun had killed it, it, it you know it was just you brushed your hand across it and you have blue powder on your hand because the Sun had just depleted the paint completely I had a good solid base um, I did actually have a painter, a boat painter, come and look at it and he measured the depth of the paint um, and mine was sitting at about 2.8 microbes, whatever that means, but he said that a, po a boat that he fully paints and send out um, would be sitting at about 1.8, so more, I had a really good coat of paint on my boat. I had very few rust spots and the rust spots that I did have were like very small. Uh, excuse me, a bit of hay fever this morning. Um, yeah, so I had a really good base. So what I'd done was I got got myself a sander, and I'd just give it a good welly all over, just just to give it a key. Um, I didn't film any of this because you watching me profusing sweat wouldn't have been a pretty thing to watch. But um, yeah, so I chose the two hottest days of the year so far to do it. I sanded it all back. That took me a day, and then yesterday and half of the day before I concentrated on the paint now the paint if you go to a chandlery or if you go online the the amount of different paints um, and the amount of forums that say don't use this don't use that or you should be using this or you should have seven coats of primer six coats of undercoat 10 layers of top coat and a coat of varnish. What a load of tosh. So I went, the kettle's going to scream at me. Hang on a sec. Sorry about that. Nice cup of brown. Makes me feel better. Yes, so anyway, I managed to find a paint that one acts as a primer, two, you can paint straight onto rust because it's got rust inhibitors in it. I sanded down the rust anyway, but you could technically if you wanted to. It dries to a consistency that 
is absolutely solid. You can bang this stuff with a hammer and you'd, you'd be hard pushed to do it some damage. Um, and it was relatively cheap. What's the paint? Right. <laughs> this is where I get a flurry of comments saying, oh, you shouldn't use that on a boat. It's hammerite. I used black smooth hammerite. I've done all the gunnels. I've done a bit of painting, edging around the side of the boat. And I've also done the roof. Now, it acted brilliantly, this stuff. Um, it took two coats because I was I was a blue boat, well, blue and cream before. And now I've gone, well, I'll show you what colour I've gone in a minute. Um, but the stuff is absolutely brilliant. Yes, I know that if I come to paint the boat in the future, I will probably have a nightmare getting it off or getting a key into it or even stripping it back or whatever else. But I don't really don't care. People... Who, who watch my channel regularly, my subscribers or whatnot, you'll know that I'm not trying to make a showboat. I'm not trying to make a competition winner. I'm just trying to make our home protected from the weather, looking half decent. Um, that'll do. That's all I'm after. So I, I'm a great believer of just because you've got a boat, you don't have to be permanently skint. That's, that, that's the major ethos behind my thinking. Anyway... Back to the painting um the only problem i had with it is i started with a brush um and it was that hot that as soon as the brush was touching the the metal of the paint of the boat um it was drying almost instantaneously so it was leaving brush marks which like i say i'm not bothered but it does look a bit tatty if you've got brush marks all over the place you want a nice finish so three and a half hours in yesterday, I'd managed to do a quarter of the roof, um, at which point the paintbrush I was using had also dried and it was going hard as I was using it. It was a nightmare. So I switched to a roller and then I managed to get the rest of the roof done in about five minutes. So that dried quite quickly. I was managed to go around with another coat and another coat. So I've got three coats on the roof because of the hot weather. Um, you can see roller marks in it so to defeat that what i'm going to do because i've still got to paint down the sides of the boat um i couldn't do it where i am because i have boats more on either side of me but we have got a covered area which i'm going into at the weekend just to do the sides um and while i'm over there because we're due some cooler weather what i'm going to do is do another wet coat on the on the on the roof but then dry brush as well as I'm doing it to, and that will that will remove any any marks. Um, but I can honestly say I am over the moon with the results. I really am. Um, I didn't do much filming. In fact, I didn't do any filming while I was actually painting it because I just wanted to crack on. The weather was horribly hot and I was just in the zone. So I just got it done. But I have got some before and after shots of the boat. So um, I'll show you them in a minute. But yeah, so... Bear with me and I'll, I'll go and take you uh, for a little walk outside and we'll go and uh, have a look at the results. It's quite good, I think. So here we are out on the bow and as you can see, I've kept the cream. What I've done was I've sanded the cream back and gone over the cream, but all the blue is now black. And if my next door neighbour don't mind, if I climb over to the front of his boat, I'll be able to show what it looks like from the front angle a sec. There you go. None too shabby. So I'll, uh, I'll show you some before and after pictures, but it's dried really well. I mean, the finish I got managed to get with just a brush and a tin of hammeroid is excellent. Right, hang on a sec. Done. So I say, all the blue bits are going black. Here you can see what we had before, the blue. That's uh, gonna be painted when I go over to into the, the covered area next week. I've also got some black in. So I'm gonna black it down to the waterline and then think about getting it out next uh, next spring but if you can see on the see on the roof i think it's covered really well obviously i've still got to do a few little touch up touch ups in places but i think it looks pretty amazing there you go not too bad not too bad to get your boat painted professionally, tap by the blind, um, like I said, 
sky's the limit. Um, Six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand pounds. I know that the chances are my DIY paint job might possibly not last anywhere near as long as a professional paint job. But when you outlay the cost and the effort involved, that's took me three days, and the cost, the paint, with all the, like the brushes, the rollers, sandpapers, bits and bobs. I bet I've not spent a hundred pounds. In fact, I know I haven't spent a hundred pounds. And I think the results are amazing for that price. Um, so you can do it. Um, you don't have to go out shelling loads of money. You don't have to remortgage and, and to pay somebody to come and paint your boat and give it to them for six weeks. You can. Um, if that's your thing, fair play to you. But it's, it's not me. So yeah, so I'm really proud of that. So I'll do a few uh, before and after shots. Um, and that'll be it for now for the, this little bonus midweek video. Spoiling you, I am. Um, yeah okay cool well i'll see you at the weekend when i go over to the dry dock and i'll do a bit of filming then and show you exactly what uh, processes i'll go through to get it to the finish that i've done um it's really simple it's hard sometimes it's hard work you know you've got to put the abo grease in but it pays off i've saved a fortune i'd rather keep the eight grand in the bank thanks very much yeah so we are looking at getting a professional sign writer to come out um his work looks really amazing and uh, he's charged me, well, he's quoted me a really, quite a reasonable price, really. We're going to have the name painted both sides. We're going to have an emblem both sides. And he's going to do a little bit of artwork on either the um, sliding hatch or the back doors. Um, just to, you know, ping it up, make it look a, nice, a, bit, a, a bit more um, personal to us. But yeah, so I'll do some before, before and after shots. Um, comment below what you think. Um... There's no point telling me that you shouldn't put hammer on a boat because I've, I've heard it all before, but um, only time will tell. So we'll give it a few months, especially over the winter, and we'll see how it fares. But I think that's going to be absolutely solid. I really do. But like I say, who knows? Right. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Um, if you do feel like subscribing, please um, do it. Hit the little bell. Um, and I shall see you over the water on Friday. Brilliant.